We're always about but. to grind. <laughs> We're going into game number one here. We got, like you said, Yoshi versus Palatina. Starting off on PS2, great stage for Yoshi, but also an excellent stage for Frozen. You know, been, play, I, been playing this stage for quite some time in that game that nobody likes to talk about. And I think that, <laughs> and I think that they got they probably just they probably just agree to this. Yo, PS2, PS2. Mm -hmm. It is it is the new starter build. This is where we will always uh, always go. This is a man stage. <laughs> Already seeing a strong defensive play out of Frozen, putting out retreating hitboxes, trying to gauge how Cog wants to play. Because Yoshi has excellent buttons up close. Yoshi oh. is very strong and don't. The F tilt, it's all these upper combos, that back air, so strong, but the movement from Frozen starting to kick it up a notch. Yeah, no, and one thing you, you want to you want to pay attention to any missed tech, all right? If it's one thing I learned from playing Suarez is that if you miss a tech against Yoshi, you're probably dead, all right? So oh, <laughs> I'm still in shock because I don't think I've ever seen somebody get uh, like get punished for doing a Palatina up smash. Yet he got hit by the nair. But you see, he's just putting out these wall of bears, and that's gonna finally be the one to close it out. Sweet spot. Yeah, you just stay on the retreat, and he's gonna teleport cancel just to wait as uh, like just remove all of that angel platform invincibility. You know, and, and that's one thing that you have to do, that you have to understand. Like when you when your opponent is coming back from from the angel platform, mm -hmm. they're probably just gonna try something crazy like a smash attack. Get the hell away from them as fast as possible. The so amount of people I've that. seen lose stocks where they just run up to them, and then the person on the platform just drops down with a fairer bear and they die. It's like, okay, cool. I guess we wanted to go to bring this game back to even. Yeah, man. And I do like the wall that Frozen is putting on with all these bears and explosive flames. Like it's making it's making it really hard for Cog to actually mm -hmm. do anything. Cog getting Frozen off stage right now. Yeah, it's being Ooh. huge if Cog can close it out. Trying to go for the down B, catching Frozen, hopefully holding shield, but Frozen not biting. He was able to spot dodge his way out of there. And oh, I, catches him anyways, but doesn't kill with it. And I do like the fact that Cog actually <laughs> caught Frozen on the end with the, with the down B and put himself in a situation where I had to actually take the stop. Hey, able to get that fair on the neutral get up there. Cog definitely turned it up a little bit. If he could get one of those F tilts, Joshi puts on big damage fast. Or he could just run right into the shiny flaming star that is directly in his face. That's always an option, too. But it's shiny, Ajax. Look, it reflects <laughs> perfectly in the background camera. That's like, the, the, I think, believe it's the second or third attempt that he's missed on a jab block. Yeah, if he could get one of those, yeah, it no, would be uh, huge lead deficit that he could cut in half. One thing I want to one thing I want to see is him, you know, uh, use those near out of shields in order to put Frozen in those jab blocks because he is missing them because he's he's not timing it right. Yeah, and unfortunately you know? for Cog right there too, that route he had to pretty much take after that back air was going to be perfectly blocked if he decided to go for another egg. Uh, if he had no jump, he had nothing he could do. That explosive flame perfectly placed by Frozen. And, ooh, I like the B reverse. Oh, unfortunately mistimed the bear. That would have been great too, dying at 52%. Even this back up, but for Cog he didn't get it. However. Cog still, again, he's looking better as the match is progressing, but Frozen has just been able to win at a lot more of these neutral interactions. Oh, see, again, he punished him for up smash. It's that armor, man. <laughs> it's that armor on that second jump, and he's using it super well. Oh, great parry. I know Twitter is currently going through a, a love-hate Yoshi thing right now, but when I see stuff like that, I guess I can understand a little bit. Oh, oh no. and that's an air dodge bait right there. Damn. Oh, he still made it back. He had his jump. He really came back. Yoshi got the hops. He made it all the way down from the bottom there. Yoshi What's the punish? <laughs> Waiting for Frozen to try and go for maybe a spot dodge again. Yoshi plays for the Knicks. That's what. Right, now he's just kind of throwing him out here, like trying to catch him off guard, maybe hoping for a jump. It doesn't have as much shield break potential in this game. Oh, I like oh, it. Oh, OK. He's trying to get nasty. Yeah, trying to go for two B reverses. That's a, hey, you know what? If it didn't work the first, second, third, fourth, fifth time, just keep doing it. Eventually, it's going to work. If you don't succeed at first, try, 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 and then try again. All right, and now the thing is that if you are caught, at this point, as Yoshi, you kind of just want to just capitalize on that one hit that you get. But as soon as I say that, Frozen just capitalizes on the fact that Cog threw the egg. He knew he was in lagging a bit, a bit, and just smacks him. Yeah, Frozen was playing with the simplicity is key mindset. He constantly just kept walling him out at the ledge with all of the bears. The moment that he baited him to jump after he went for the parry, it's like, all right, you've now committed. Unless you have an air dodge still, you're mine. And that was a great edge guard. Like, yeah, just the consistent ability to ledge trap him the way he did. Very strong. I want to see know, see if Kaki get around that. And it was a good. It was it was great timing too. Because uh, you, you know, one one scary thing about this was sick. One scary thing about Yoshi when he's in the air is that he always has the ability to drop just as drop down, and down B. You know, mm -hmm. and Frozen knew that, which is why he immediately acted as soon as he uh, 
and caught junk. But now we are going to take it to Unova, which is, you know, it's a similar stage, but I do like the counter pick for this. I actually you know like this yeah. stage, too, because of the combo extensions that you're going to get off of Yoshi for one, and you also get the potential of yep. the SD from the teleport. Yeah. Frozen knows his angles, so he's probably not going to get caught, but he could, and that would be a free stock for Cog if he could get that. Look, man, no matter how good we are, we all make mistakes. And he's just kind of hoping that Frozen, you know, you know, you never think, oh, he's gonna ST, you know. Exactly. He's, kinda, he's hoping for it. But though. if you, but if it happens, you know, you gotta take those. Like that, that is definitely a capitalization you wanna hold every time. But Frozen, still, again, like we saw before, holding down the ledge. This is really where he's getting most of his damage on Cog. Yo, you're right. Every up smash that Frozen has thrown out has gotten punished. Yeah, I'm wondering if he's <laughs> actually gonna just stop doing up smash at this point because he just keeps getting a trade. Granted, the damage is definitely in favor of Frozen afterwards, but he loses stage positioning from all these nares. Okay, but Cog is actually bringing it back to a healthy amount. I mean, Palutena's at 85. Damn, damn, why did that hurt? <laughs> yeah, it did, just constantly throwing out these backers. But now, Cog digging deep, trying to go catch Frozen as well. Frozen getting right off the ledge, not trying to get caught up on the platform. Okay. Oh, the, the little start does help. Oh, no. Anytime a Yoshi does that, it's definitely a misinput, guys. Yeah, no, no Yoshi never does yeah, that on purpose. It, it, I'll, until I see the day where I see one of the Yoshis pull off one of those, not dying to Nair, uh, one of those uh, egg rolls, like shield break setups, oh. N none of them are doing it intentionally. <laughs> I don't, I don't know about the shield breaks. Look, I'm just saying, Suarez and Raptor are ridiculous lap monsters. You never know, it might come eventually. But Cog trying to go for a P reverse, trying to catch him on neutral get up. I like it. Might have forced him to hold shield because he went off stage instead. But Frozen got out of there, now holding advantage. You know, one thing that I want to point out from Cog is that he's not losing his his uh, composure. You know, mm. he's he re he remains playing his style, and he keeps on going for these unorthodox uh, choices, you know, like, oh, maybe like a little, maybe like a little gimp uh, using that, uh, that beer verse. And I do, and I do like that. Great up air, 66%. He's totally fine at the moment, but he can't lose stage control at the moment. Yeah, very this logical trade more. for him right there, you know, uh, realizing that while he was below Frozen, not much Frozen could have done to maybe get him stage positioning back at that angle. It's like, all right, let me throw out this up air, and I'm going to be able to close this out. But still, very large lead in Frozen. Finally, he didn't get <laughs> punished for doing smash and instead he was able to close out the stock afterwards. Hey, now, okay, now, now, now Frozen's getting fancy. Hey, that, you know, that's that movement that, you, yeah, like I said before, if you can't catch him, now your invincibility's out and Frozen just made you waste your time. That, that, that's not just for fanciness, but it's a great stall too. Hey, once again, Cog at the ledge, I, the wind box did push him. And what if, for, what if, that, Yo, what if that was Frozen's it's time, like he bro? held him in his like, graceful arms, like, let me assist you on your way back to center stage. Here you go. Have, have a ride back, Yoshi. It's, okay. I appreciate you. I thought he was going to spike. <laughs> yeah, you see Cog is consistently going off there. Oh, Diablo. my. Diablo. Finally going for a regular grab and Frozen having absolutely nothing to do with that. And that is now two for two on the win with the hat. Helper lying to me before I got on stream. What I swear to God, there were four people in a row. They all uh, lost. I don't, I don't know, man. Like the script is just telling me otherwise. Like I said, I see Bo is responsible for everybody moving forward. And it was NY all right now. set up. You're right. I'm sorry. It was all. It was all. That, Maybe that, that it's was just the mix because in we itself. got on commentary. That, that was the mix in itself. It's like, Maybe yo, if you wear that. the hat, you're gonna win. <laughs> but Helper didn't want us to know that because he wanted us to say something different, and then we would have sound stupid on the mic. But instead, now we sound intelligent. And <laughs> Another intelligent move, of course, is to go ahead and follow everything that is the House of 3000. If you are watching this stream right now, make sure you throw some support to uh, everything that is the House of 3000. They are currently streaming this event, and you have the Xeno Weeklies every single Wednesday, and um, some great emotes as well. I have to run it back really quick because now 